Welcome to A Week in Science from RI Oz. This week, better energy storage, human head transplants, and the military versus the blue whale. Electrical stimulation of veins and arteries can dramatically reduce bleeding. And a word for the squeamish, you may want to look away. Applying microsecond electrical pulses to blood vessels in mice caused them to rapidly constrict and stem blood flow. These blood vessels regained their original size in a matter of minutes. But stronger pulses cause vessels to completely and permanently close without damaging them. OK, squeamish people, you can look now. An Italian doctor has proposed a method for human head transplants. Up until now, head transplants have mainly been restricted to Hollywood sci-fi due to the difficulty of reconnecting nerves in the spinal cord. And yes, the procedure has been trialled on animals in the past. But theoretically, a super sharp cut through the spinal column, followed by gluing the head onto the donor body, could allow cut nerves to reconstruct themselves and overcome paralysis. This theory could provide hope for people with debilitating medical conditions but the suggestion has been met with apprehension by many medical professionals. A new material that can store large amounts of energy with very little loss has been developed by Australian researchers. Increased aerosol pollution resulted in a global decrease in rain from the 1950s to the 1980s. The H7N9 influenza virus can bind to both bird and human cells, making it more likely to be transmitted between species than other influenza strains. And researchers have built a functioning human liver from stem cells. And finally this week, the military versus the blue whale. US researchers have shown that mid-frequency military sonars can disrupt feeding behaviour in these mighty beasts, substantially decreasing their ability to feed. Similar effects have already been observed in deep diving tooth whales, such as the sperm whale. The flow on effects from this decrease in feeding efficiency could include aspects of their ecology, individual fitness and population health. We're taking a three week break, but A Week in Science will be back at the beginning of August. In the meantime, check out other video content and blogs on our website. That's been the highlights of another big week in science. For more on these and other science news stories, go to the RIOS website, rios.org.au, where you can also sign up for notifications of future episodes. You can follow the conversation on Twitter using the hashtag WeekInSci. I'm Paul Willis, and on behalf of the RIOS team, I'll see you in three weeks.